In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Vader X Pro 10,000 reel from Sonic. So coming up are five things I love about these reels. And the reason for going at it from that angle is because you guys seem to love Sonic gear as well. Every time we do a video on Sonic, we get shared loads of views, and loads of questions and messages about their products, whether that be on the Kypology social media channels, which if you see below, follow us on all of those. And also on my personal one, I get loads of messages about Sonic gear. And I think that's primarily because of the price point. So stick around because I will be mentioning that in this video at some point. But for now, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Because if you also like the look of the rods in this video, there will be a future video on them as well. So you're gonna have to stick around and make sure you're notified when that comes up. But for now, let's jump into these five things. I think they really look the part to start with, and that's what sells a product to start with. If you see a reel you don't like the look of, you scroll past it, you keep on looking elsewhere. But if something grabs your attention, looks the part, and you know you're gonna enjoy using them, then that's part of the uh, battle of selling something. And that is where this really does hit the mark, I believe. It's got a lovely matte finish all over. You've got some more glossy black fit fittings and fixtures around the, the spool, at the top lip and the bottom bit. You've got the sort of a gloss black bail arm as well, but then the main bulk of the body is a nice matte finish all the way down, all the way up to the handle as well, where you're finished off with a wooden handle, which I don't think there's many people that don't like the look of a wooden handle on a, on a body like this. And this it's on trend as well. I mean, everywhere is going pretty much the same sort of looks and it's understated. It's not splashing logos all over the place. You've got 10,000 right there on the back of the uh, reel. A few more little bits of uh, detailing on the spigot inside where it tells you how many ball bearings there are and the uh, balance rotor but that's not normally on show once you've got the reel down like that and then on the outside on the spool you've got 10,000 on one side and on the other side Vader X Pro and then a little bit on the quick torque drag on the very top with a little red line across the uh, adjuster at the top so style wise nice and understated I think logos where they need to be and they just look the part. They can't just look good, they've got to perform well as well because cart reels get put through a lot of abuse. I mean, today alone, it's the first out with this, but they're getting caked in mud because it's a filthy rotten bank at the moment as we've just had so much rain after all that cold weather. So everything's just turned to a complete bog. So it's starting to get a bit caked already. So they need to be up to the task of being battered around because uh, not all of us treat our gear with the best of care, but the way they perform has done everything I need them to so far. They cast nicely. I'm only fishing short ranges today, but uh, I know that with the size of the spool and the way that the, the lip is slightly tapered, it will cast lovely. And it's got slow oscillation as well. So if I wind like that, as you can see, the spigot going up and down, the spool going up and down, it's given a lovely line lay. Not so slow that uh, you're getting a really tight line lay. It's that perfect balance of slow oscillation and not too slow. So you're getting a nice line lay, it means that the line flies off freely and nice and smoothly on the cast. Talking of the line and on the spool itself, we've got two spring loaded line clips. So it's safe on the, your line and makes it nice and easy to clip up with. So uh, you're not going to damage your line and it just makes it nice and easy that way. The drag has got a one way system on the top so this reel isn't one of those real quick adjustments that it's locked solid with a quarter of a turn as you can see i'm turning it quite a bit and that should now be locked solid well take a lot of effort to twist it twist it half a turn and we're semi and then another turn and we're basically free spool so if you look at that i'd say that's free spool twist it all the way around a full turn and that's almost locked up. So it's not ultra sensitive, but it's a perfect balance. So you know that when you're playing a fish, hopefully something will happen today, talking to you two, I'll be able to fine tune that clutch to exactly each fight. Whoever a fish takes a run, I can just adjust it, loosen it slightly and bring it back nicely. It's a lovely smooth reel as well. It's got uh, six plus one ball bearings and a 4.6 to one ratio. And that basically means it brings in just over a meter of line per turn and it does it in a nice and smooth fashion, which is exactly as you want. And the body is uh, graphite, so it's nice and lightweight. And that brings me on to point number three, and that is the line capacity, and line capacity in relation to the size of the reel as well. Because it's not a huge reel, it's not really chunky, but it, you can use this on much bigger venues. If you're putting a, a point three line on these reels, which I did the other day, is around that, I put 12 pound line on for this session, and it, 
took quite a long time because it could take 490 meters of 0.3. So that tells you how much you can put on here. And obviously as you go up through your diameters, you were able to put less on, but these can hold a hell of a lot of line. So if you're fishing at great distances, whether you're casting a long way, which it will do, or doing boat work, you'll be able to uh, use this wherever you go. But likewise, on a session like today, on a smaller venue, I don't feel like I'm overgunned because they're not really weighty. They uh, do the job nicely. And I'm sure they'll be versatile to go to any different venue. And a couple of other things to mention whilst on the topic of how they perform, you've also got an oversized line roller anti-twist, so it keeps it nice and smooth when the line is being retrieved back through there. And you've also got a, a floating line guard sort of thing. So underneath the spool, it's got this little thing that can move around. I mean, I know I keep calling it thing, that's because I'm not technical minded, but that comes up and down with the spool. When I go up and down, as you can see, it's attached to it and that just stops any line from getting caught up and going underneath there, which can be a problem with some reels. You get a little bit too much slack line, goes under the spool and then you've got a horrible tangle on your hands. And if that happens when you're playing a fish, that's pretty much game over. So that having there, just make sure that that isn't an issue and you can bring it in nicely. And when I did mention the weight, if you want the exact statistics of that with the exact weight, these come in at 640 grams. So if you're impressed with it so far, but there's one little thing that you prefer to have on a reel that doesn't exist on this one, Sonic have still got you covered because they've got two options available in this range. They have the FRS 10,000 Pro, and that speaks for itself with a free spool at the back. So if you prefer to have a reel that has a free spool function and you like the look of this reel, then there's one available. Very much the same as the other model without the free spool function. It does exactly the same when it comes to capacity, abilities and everything, it just has this incorporated as well. So you have the adjustment on the back here for the free spool setting, and as soon as you wind, it clicks back onto more of a locked up drag and you're into the fish. So if you prefer your free spool, get the FRS version, or if you prefer the other one, then stick with the standard. The price point. Pretty much everyone's favorite talking point in the comments section below, and that's another thing I love about these products and Sonic in general, is that they don't price you out of the market because the 10,000X Pro, the standard one, it comes in at 62.99, I found it as cheap as online. And then the FRS model, which is the one with the free spool, I found for as low as 72 pounds 50 online. So that was just shopping around online. Shop around, you might be able to find them for around that price, but that gives you an idea of what they're gonna cost. But for now, please make sure you subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on all the social media links seen below. For now, cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.